Hello, welcome back, Zero K fans, to Natalie Zadon. I remain your host, Shadow Fury 333, and this last match today is going to be between Google Frog and Anarchid on Onyx Cauldron. So let's get to it. This is a really good map. I haven't seen this map in a while. I mean, it has had a bit of a weakness in that hovercraft on this lake are super powerful, and also my camera's kind of wonky. But other than that, it's generally okay. Like, this map has been, overall, a fairly good map for allowing for most factories to work out pretty well. But, like I said, it kind of eventually became Amphib and Hovers. Haven't seen it in a while. Not sure if the meta's changed on that. Both Google Frog and Anarchy going for Kaloogie Bot Factory, not even going for the water. At least not at first. Anarchy going for a bit of a quicker scouting option, and Google Frog... Google Frog going for a very quick economy... Oh, for crying out loud. Going for a very quick economy. And that is... Excuse me. Sorry, one sec. All right, sorry about that. Anyway, so as I was saying, this this map is what was I trying to say about this map? Sorry, I got really distracted. So, Google Frog going for the economy. That's what I was trying to say. While Anakin going for the military setup right at the start, early harassment, all that. So we should see that working out relatively well. I think for Anarchid. I'm honestly, I think Anarchid's gonna have a much easier time with this setup. Google Frog might be okay with this, but Anarchid's just got the whole thing. I don't know. Google Frog going for pretty quick enough glaives early on that it shouldn't be a problem. It's really going to go down to micro, and it looks like Google Frog is winning. Well, not so much micro wars, but still winning the glaive wars right now. Though Anarchid, yeah, it's going to come. Gosh, I don't know. Anarchid now finally getting their economy going again, or getting their wor early worker. But like I said, Google Frog already has two. Google Frog loves to go for a lot of workers. It works really well too. Like. That's the thing with 0k, if you can avoid building military units for as long as possible, that goes a long way. Especially on a map like this, where there's a few different paths to expand, and expanding along all of them at once is the best option. But at this point, Google Frog hasn't really managed to get that to pay off yet. Like, Anarchid still has a bit of a shot if they manage to kill one of these conjurers, which I don't think they will, they're not even going for it. But if a bit of damage is dealt, actually, there's nothing in the main base. That glaive going in basically with nothing to stop it should be able to deal a bit of damage. Maybe get rid of a couple wind generators. Not likely a metal extractor. The wind generator is the most likely target. But there's nothing to defend. And no, going for the metal extractor. Why going for the metal extractor? That's not the option to go for. Go for the wind generators. And Anarchid not able to do any meaningful damage here. Why didn't they go for the wind gens? That's potentially a lot of energy, and Google Frog's energy is already low. Google Frog tends to play a low energy game. They tend to try to wait as long as possible before having to build more energy. So this is... Ah, that would have been really powerful had that actually worked out against the wind generators. And even as it is, Google Frog actually getting dangerously close to excessing energy. But if that was destroyed, if these metal extractor wind generators were destroyed, not the metal extractor, that would have worked out really well. Like, that would have kept Google Frog in an even worse position than Anarchid right now. They're getting their economy going. I mean, they're... Actually, no, they're getting their production again. They're really focusing on production, actually. Far too much... I'm not sure what Anarchid's trying to do. They need to have one of these focus on economy. Oh, I see. Going... Okay, going to the northeast. Taking that economy. Getting that set up. So, Anarchid right now, they're... They want to just dominate the map, then get the economy going. Google Frog... This is how Google Frog plays, though. And Google Frog's playstyle, if it goes in about seven or eight minutes into the game and it hasn't really been stopped or contained then it's a win but at this point google frog is being forced into the main base they are being forced to build up a bunch of defenses not really able to build up what they like so they're not in the best position and anarchid is basically containing and turning that contain into an into an economic advantage or at least as quickly as possible doing so it's still a bit tricky, and there's still a lot of room for Google Frog to harass this. But overall, Anarchid has set themselves up to basically not have to worry about anything. Which is a pretty good place to be, all things considered. So yeah, at this point, Google Frog is going to be setting up rather strongly. I don't really see that working out any differently than... Sorry, Anarchid setting up rather strongly. Google Frog just needs to deal with this, although Anarchid making sure that they aren't going to be stopped. That's the main thing they're worried about here. Before setting up their economy, they want to make sure they aren't going to get stopped while setting up their economy, because if they do get stopped setting up their economy, that kind of defeats the purpose. That really makes it completely worthless. So, Anarchid? Interesting style. I mean, I'm, I'm, I think they're kind of pushing the whole defense and then economy to a bit of an extreme. 
But at this point, they are the ones right now in a situation where if it if they last until the mid game, they're going to have it pay off for them. Because they've claimed the northeast, the southwest is gradually being claimed. Google Frog hasn't even really started. They're now just no, not even a glaive, nothing else. No conjurers or anything, and that minute or so of being contained has really slowed down Google Frog's production and economy. Now, Anarchid, on the other hand, finally getting those metallic charges, finally getting that all to pay off. It's about time. With all that and all the metal extractors here too, I mean, at this point, there's there's Anarchid's economy being built up, and Google Frog is not doing anything about it. I don't know if they really can. They can try, but it's going to require overwhelming force to get in to actually deal with it. And Google Frog with three glazes is not going to be able to do much. I don't even know if that's not even trying. Yeah, that, those glazes aren't even going for it, so this is not working out that well. Google Frog's commander not going to go down. Should be fine. Not to glaves at least. And Anarchy going for hammers? Well, ha warrior I can see, but hammer... Well, I guess that kind of makes sense. There are a lot of defenses being built up, so going for the hammers, which... There you go, hammer and warrior. That's Anarchid's post-expansion setup. And yeah, wow, Anarchid's economy really exploding. Now, Google Frog is managing to use their economy, although not on units. Anarchid, however, also not on units. Building up their economy to build up more economy, not... No caretakers, no conjurers used to build the factory going. Oh, there's, okay, there is a caretaker coming up. It'll be a while before that's built up, though. And an air factory as well. So Anarchid is already going for the air switch. It's kind of the early time for an air switch. It's still a good time for an air switch, but it's a bit early for an air switch. And, oof. This is a bit of a weird position. This is actually the best position that Google Frog has for wiping out Anarchid's whole setup in the Northeast. And down goes the Conjurer, the Glaives. Actually, this is more than enough Glaives. This Northeast setup should be going down pretty soon, and Anarchid has been accessing metal. What happened to here? Oh, I see. Very quickly getting the, con the Caretaker prioritizing that. But yeah, this entire Northeast side is down. Anarchid took all this time to set up the defenses to keep it alive, and didn't really work out too well. Still lost all the metal extractors. So Anarchid having to reclaim that, but this... I mean, at least, it, I would say I gave them the money, but the problem is that it was excess. I, there was nothing that actually came out of it. If Anarchid had been spending that, then yeah, it would have been really valuable, but they hadn't been. So that was a complete waste. There was nothing gained from that northeast side. They spent a bunch of time expanding there. Had they just built up the metal extractor sooner and then gone for the defenses, it would have at least been a bit more efficient, but they just didn't have the production to even support that. Finally getting the caretakers they need, but way too late. I mean, at this point, the economy is about even. But Google Frog does have the Northeast. They are going to get an extra 6 metal per second thanks to the Northeast metal extractors. Southwest is still kind of contested. But Google Frog with the ban... Well, with the... I don't know, I'm guessing banshees. Google Frog usually goes for rapiers with the gunship plant. So Google Frog with the gunship plant, probably for rapiers, because that's often what they go for. And the rest of the Northeast is basically just going to be theirs. So they'll have a 14 metal per second advantage once that's dealt with. Anderkid, however, still building up. I mean, still managing to get some stuff set up. It's just not a super secure position that they have. However, now that the warrior's been baited out of position, Google Frog's commander getting some size on it. Problem is those sides are going to get hit by the lightning gun. Oh, the lightning gun has no splash. Never mind. Actually, Google Frog's commander going down, stopping a lot of the expansion over to the southwest, and there, there goes the expansion attempt. The commander's down. The rapiers are up, as expected. But yeah, that was... That was that. That was particularly effective. So Google Frog's commander no longer able to take the, the southwest, which does make it a bit easier to hold. But at this point, Google Frog's still assaulting the southwest pretty hard. The one warrior with no real resistance. It's going to be a bit of a problem. At this point, though, Google Frog's still even economically. The main, the main benefit to having destroyed that commander is that there is no easy way to expand over to the southwest. There's nothing that can really expand under pressure. And at the same time, bit of an assault here from Anarchid, not really going to do a huge amount. Doing some economic damage, trying to get through the defenders, not going to be able to succeed too much. Getting rid of one's not a big deal. With all the sizes up for Google Frog as well. And Anarchid going for the Hawks, just going for the anti-air. Well, Google Frog going for the anti-grant, well, kind of mixed force anti-grant anti-air. And Anarchid's commander not in the great position. The Southwest going to Google Frog as well. Anarchid trying valiantly to hold it, but not really able to do so. And it looks like trying to set up a contain over to the Northwest, sorry, Northeast as well. 
just to try to hold that as best as possible. And good razor placement, though. At least it stops anything from getting in. But the problem is, that's not the problem. The problem is the size. And Anarchist Commander... Upgraded for Beam Laser. Beam Laser Strike Commander, so at least it has a fair bit of HP. But in all honesty, Google Frog should not be here. This is not where Google Frog should be. This is the exact opposite. This is this is supposed to be Anarchid's territory, and Google Frog just has units hanging out here. Why is Anarchid letting that happen? I don't know. I'm a bit surprised we aren't seeing anything to actually deal with this. We're seeing mostly Hawks, not really any bombers or anything. Man, Anarchid's really focused on the anti here. Google Frog's they only got like five rapiers. Six rapiers. Nah. That's not much the hawk should be able to deal with actually i would go for swiss personally but even the hawk should be able to deal with that without a huge issue hawks can be microed around swifts not so much so that's why i would go for the swifts but still a lot of anti-air being built up gremlins and hawks everything is being built up trying to make sure that these rapiers can't do anything and i don't see that really working out too well the rapiers aren't in a great position to actually get dealt with I mean, they're just going to retreat. I mean, take some damage, but that's not the main force. The main force is these warriors and glaives. Mostly the warriors. And they'll just tear gremlins to shreds, so I'm not really sure what the motivation is. I mean, it stops the rapiers from assaulting. That's that's good. It's just right now, Anarchid's not in a position where they, they want to just be defending. They're behind. They're way behind. Like, economically, they're faltering hard. And Google Frog is just producing, just outproducing them, and not really worried about anything. Like, Anarchid is slowly managing to build up the center again, or the southwest again. But Google Frog way behind their lines, and now it looks like Google Frog going in for what might be the killing blow. Definitely the killing blow economically. These slaves should be able to wreck everything. There's not much to defend against this. There's one defender, which with half a dozen slaves is nothing. Half a dozen slaves can deal with that no problem. No warriors in place either. Nothing to deal with this. This is, this is done. This is over. I don't see... Like, Anakid is losing everything here. The character is going to go down. The wind gen's going to go down. The fusion plant will probably survive, but... Who knows? It might go down, too. Actually, it will go down, come to think of it. That is the main target. That will stop the Glaive Assault, because they're going to die. But... That's... Anarchid's economy gone. Everything's gone. They have no economy anymore. All they have left is what they have in the field, and that's not much. Certainly not much as far as a general purpose army goes. It's entirely anti-air. Or almost entirely anti-air. So, Anarchid... Not sure what they're going to do here. They really don't have much. I mean, they might start bombing out metal extractors, but that's that's all they can really do. I mean, Google Frog, that was a lot of damage dealt, and I just need to deal a bit more damage and get another good strike in, and that will finish the game. Anarchist Commander is also surprisingly being immobile. I don't know why... What, what the heck? Anarchid. Like, why is it... Why is that this is not dealing with the metal extractors and trying to build a bunch more? I think Anarchid's... What are they focused on? Ah, okay. They're not even looking at their commander at all. They're focused entirely on their armies to the north. Not at all the commander to the south, so that makes sense. But that's not working out super well for them, I'm afraid. I mean, really, I would I would have hoped that something would have gone differently. But no, it looks like this is going to be it. They're probably just throwing in the towel, in all honesty. Yep, there it is. There's the GG. And that's that. So not a bad try, but it was really a matter of Anarchid did not really expand, Google Frog expanded, and Anarchid, while they tried to contain, didn't really make it pay off. And the one thing that might have paid off got completely torn, turned around. Anarchid lost the Northeast expansion, which they spent so much effort trying to protect. They just didn't position the defenses correctly to actually protect it properly, so... That's how it went. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Oh yeah, and the metal ex... Wait. No, there was no metal excess. It got close. It was more that Anarchid didn't build up as much as they could have around the mid-game, but okay, that worked out all right. Anyway, no excess, though, so I'll give them that. They didn't manage to actually excess, just the... Really, it didn't... None at all. Apparently not. Apparently they actually... Yeah. Yeah, apparently it wasn't actually entirely the same. The only difference is that there was actually not much. A bit of a metal use produce difference, like... Google Frog didn't use metal at first, which we saw before. We saw the the metal in storage for a while. But yeah, really, it was just a matter of Google Frog's economy was always just a little bit better in terms of total metal 
than Anarchids. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Have a good and hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching and have a good night, everyone.